poets. Yesterday we started a unit on poetry and we decided that we were going to write a poem about dogs. And each word underneath the topic, dogs, will explain something that a dog does. And so today I thought we would change it up a little bit, do the same kind of a poem, only change the title. And since it's so close to Mother's Day, I thought we could title ours Mom and then write different things that a mom does. So I've got a new poster board right here. And I've got my markers over here. So we'll just title this one Mom. Mm -hmm. um, mom. That's going to be the title of this poem. And then you're going to write about five or so things that a mom does. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of mom and something that mom does is mom cooks. So I'm going to write the word cook underneath here. Let's stretch that one out. Cook. So I'm going to start with a C. The U uh sound you hear is O O. And the final K sound is a K. Cook. What else does mom do? Well, I was thinking that most moms drive us places, so I'm going to write drive. Let's stretch out drive. Drive. D, 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 d. Dr. Dr. I, 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 I. So when I just says its name. Drive. That letter can be tricky sometimes. I remember that the V sound is Vinny Volcano, so I use my little letter chart to help me out. There's that V in Vinny Volcano right there. Drive. And remember that when the other vowel says its name, you put that magic jumping E on the end to make the other vowel say its name. Drive. So cook, drive. What else does mom do? do? Hmm. I know. Mom takes care of me. So I'll put takes care of me. It just doesn't have to be just one word. It can be a few. So let's stretch out takes. T aches. T -t -t is T. T A A A A. Is that A? Take. K -k -k. Oh, there's my K right there. Key the kangaroo. And then again, I need that magic jumping E because that vowel said its name. It said A. It said the long vowel sound. Take. And then that E comes back and it's silent. Takes. There's an S at the end of that one. Takes care. Let's stretch out care. K. Air. First I heard that K, -k sound, the C. K. A. 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 Care. Oh, another magic jumpany that makes the vowel say its name. K air. Care. Takes care. And then down here, I'm going to kind of scoot the of word in a little bit so it looks more like a poem. Of is just O F. I'm remembering my meatball spaces. And me. Mm -hmm. mm. Remember that in poems? You don't always need a period. So you don't have to add periods in poems. Sometimes, but not always. Not on our poem today. So moms can cook, drive, mom takes care of me. What else? Hmm. I know. Mom loves. Moms are good at loving. So let's just put, let's put a loving. And most of us know how to spell love. L-O-V-E. But when you're writing loving, you take that E off the end before you add your I, N, G. And we all remember ing is the word, the three letters that say I and G. So mom, cook, drive, takes care of me, loving. And then remember we end our poem with the subject, which is just mom. Just going to copy it down at the bottom. And boys and girls, you can do that on a separate piece of paper so you can give it to your mom. You can write it in your journal and add a cool picture on the top of your mom. You can um, and then tear it out and give it to her for Mother's Day. Um, however you want to do it, it's up to you. So have fun with that.
Bye, boys and girls.